I became involved with Dark Shadows in 1968. My agent had called me. I was doing a play in Hampton, New Hampshire. And he called me and said, do you want to audition for a part on Dark Shadows? And I said, sure. What's Dark Shadows? <laughs> I had no idea. So he told me what it was, and uh, I said, great. So when I came back from the summer stock job in, I guess it was the end of August, uh, I called him and he said, well, now, the casting director doesn't quite think that you're right for this part, but um, we're going to get you an audition anyway. So I got the audition and I met her and she said, Marie, you're a wonderful actress, but I still don't think you're right for this part of Eve. However, I'm going to get an audition for you. So I went to the audition, oh, and she also said, now, don't feel badly if uh, Dan Curtis has you in and out very quickly because you're really not right for the part. I called my agent, and I said, geez, like I have three strikes against me before I even go to the audition. He said, just go. Anyway, I went to the audition, had a wonderful audition with Dan. He asked me to take another script into the room, other room, and um, read it over and then come back. And so I did another scene for him and he said, great. And I went home and got a call about an hour later and said, uh, you have a call back tomorrow, but we want you to come in early because we're going to put you in makeup and gown and the whole thing. So I went in the next day, it was a Friday, and uh, I got a beautiful gown and they put makeup on me and I saw that there was a blonde and a brunette and me, the redhead. So we went down to the studio. I guess it was probably 4.30 or so after the regular, you know, shooting of the show. And uh, I didn't know what they were going to do, so I sort of sat back and I looked at the other two women and they were gorgeous and they had long hair, blonde, brunette, you know, kind of vampirish. And I thought, hmm, I'm very different than they are. So I'm going to just tease my hair up. So I teased my hair up a while because I had long hair, but it wasn't long like theirs, that long, straight, you know, vampirish look. So I teased my hair up made it very sexy and the whole thing. I also said, I'm not going to be first out there. I'm going to watch them, see what's happening. So first the blonde went on. I stayed in the corner and kept teasing my hair. <laughs> and the blonde went on, the brunette went on. I saw what they wanted. No longer, it wasn't acting anymore. Now it was looks, walk forward, turn around, do this, give us this look, give us that look. And uh, I said, oh, I know what they want. So those two went on, I went on with my teased up hair, my sensual look, I thought, and did all the little walks and stuff. And I heard this, now I'm not sure it's true, I didn't hear it, I mean hear, but people told me that when I did my little stuff, Dan Curtis said, that's it, let's hire her. And that's how I got involved with Dark Shadows. The character of Eve was really very interesting. I, I loved doing that character because she was so imperious, so mean, especially to Adam. And uh, she was just, I mean, it sounds f strange, but it was a lot of fun to play this mean character. I mean, I'm such a nice, warm, loving kind of person. And so it's kind of fun to play a, a you know, a mean old person. And I loved the fan mail that I would get because it was really interesting how many women thought it was just great the way I treated Adam. And I was so mean to him, so that was kind of fun. Anyway, she was the most evil lady who ever lived. So that's kind of interesting, you know, to play. Um, you don't get a chance to play that kind of a role too often. And, uh, you know, she was the reincarnation of Danielle Roger who was a convicted murderess in, I think it was the 17th century France. And um, so they 
brought her spirit into me in the operating room. And you know that um, Willie, Crazy Willie, John Carlin, found all these bones out in the mausoleum and brought them in, and that's how they constructed me. And they found the most wonderful designer because uh, unlike Adam, who just came out with a kind of funny shirt and lots of scars and, you know, old kind of pants and funny shoes, I had high heels, beautiful high heels, a black diaphanous gown with a long flowing um, cape and uh, beautifully coiffed hair and, you know, no scar. Because they tried a scar. They tried a scar a week before with the um, uh, the makeup artist, and uh, they decided not to put it on my face, but to put it on my neck. So there I was, similar to this, I suppose. You know, he made a scar all around my neck, and then they took photographs of it, and they said, you know what? It looks like a beautiful necklace. <laughs> so why have a scar? So we decided that, you know, Dr. Hoffman and all those other people had perfected the operation so well at that point that there were no scars, no visible scars. So that's, that was Eve. Working with Nicholas, Humbert Allen Estrado, was wonderful. I loved him. There was something about him. There was, um, uh, well, first of all, a, a very handsome man very wonderful actor, one of the best actors on Dark Shadows, I thought. And a really nice personality, really fun, kind of wonderful guy. So there was a great chemistry between us. And so it was very easy to do stuff with him. So even though I was always after him and I hated him and all of that, there was, unlike Adam, who I hated, Eve hated, not Marie, uh, but Eve hated Adam, but there was no chemistry between Adam and Eve. Not Marie and Bob, but, you know, Adam and Eve. And, but between Humbert and Marie, or Nicholas and Eve, there was a great chemistry. So it was wonderful working with him. And we had, I think, some wonderful, dramatic, uh, interesting, interesting, and fun scenes together.